This is the NCAT Intensive Review brought to you by In Time TV. I'm Dr. Ogangarel. We're in the Physical Sciences section, the Mathematics subsection. The chapter is Algebra, and the topic of this video clip is Linear Equations. A PDF will pop up during the break, which you can annotate, print, review as you see fit during the course of the lecture, as well as afterwards. Linear equations. Many physical phenomena are modeled linearly. Let's look at what this means. At a heuristic level, this means that as you provide some change or input to the system, the output is proportional to that input. Twice the force results in twice the change in position, such as for a spring. Quadruple the force is quadruple the change in position. Of course, we typically don't write equations this way. We use variables such as x and y. So output being proportional to the input is y is proportional to x. And then we can make that proportional relationship into an equality by changing it into a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, which is a typical way of formulating a linear equation, not the only way, but uh, the way for the purposes important for the MCAT. So let's look at what this linear equation means, both graphically and algebraically. Graphically, a linear equation is a straight line on a Cartesian coordinate system, a Cartesian coordinate system with a y-axis, a vertical axis, the output variable, and a horizontal axis, x, the input variable. And a proportional or linear relationship will result in a straight line. Let's look at the algebra underlying a straight line or a linear equation. As mentioned, it's y equals mx plus b. And let's evaluate these two constants x is the input variable, y is the output variable, but m and b are the constants. m, also known as the slope, is equal to delta y over delta x, the change in the y, the output variable, as related to the change in the x, the input variable. That, of course, for two positions, 2 and 1, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That slope for a linear equation is constant, which means that the rate of rise over the extent of the line, the angle of the line, etc., different ways of looking at it, is a constant number. Now b, the second constant here, is the y-intercept, or the point of intersection of that line with the vertical axis y. So a linear equation, algebraically, can be graphed as a straight line graphically in a Cartesian coordinate system. And this is a very fundamental algebra that you should be completely familiar with for the MCAT. Now, apart from the basic mathematics involved, as emphasized, it relates to some fundamental physical phenomena that can be expressed linearly or understood linearly. A spring, for example, recall Hooke's law, is a linear equation where the force equals minus kx. k is the spring constant. You do double the force to stretch a spring, you double the x, or the uh, stretch, the extent of the spring. You quadruple the force, it's four times as much. Another linear equation uh, is the photoelectric effect, for example, the kinetic energy of a electron ejected from a surface on which you shine light, the photoelectric effect, is going to be proportional to the frequency of the light that's hitting that surface, etc. We're not going to go through those details presently, but the point is that many, many physical relationships can ultimately be expressed as a linear equation, and hence learning this and understanding this equation and its relationship to its graph is critical for success on the MCAT. So in summary, linear equations represent the idea that many physical phenomena can be 
represented as a linear relationship. A linear relationship is one in which the output is proportional to the input. We can convert that into a linear equation, such as y equals mx plus b, which can be graphed as a straight line on a Cartesian coordinate system. This concludes the video clip, the video lecture on linear equations.